she told me she she was going to try to get her off the show. She said uh, that she only wanted to be the only ghetto girl on the show. And she was trying to get rid of her off the show. Now, another chapter in your um, comedy experience as far as with names and people with uh, status, if you will. Mm -hmm. Lonnie Love. She's mm -hmm. from Detroit as well. Yep. Did you guys know each other in Detroit? No. Okay. No, I didn't know her in Detroit. How did you uh, first meet her? I met her on the comedy circuit. Okay. You know, and doing comedy clubs all around L.A. I end up meeting her. Mm -hmm. You guys hit it off like instantly or? Um... Not really. We were just we just kind of passers by at the beginning. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of passers by, and then um, when I went on tour with Cat, um, we kind of was close, a little closer. Um, I, you know, took her to the Universal Amphitheater when we did that. Um, I've helped her a few times. She's helped me yeah. a few times. Um, yeah. But um, we became closer. Um, a uh, little bit after the Pimp and Pimpin' tour. Okay. Uh, then we kind of got really, really close. What were you to her in that in that context? Were you just more friends or was it business? Um, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Because if you're my friend, I want to see you do good. Mm -hmm. So if there's anything, advice or something I can help you with, I'm going to help you with it with no malice. Mm -hmm. But not knowing that in the back of your mind you got malice. Now, there's a, an interesting thing in terms of um, with Lonnie in competition or people in her same space, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the Braxton sisters ended up getting removed off the reel. People accused that it was Lonnie. Um, yeah, well, she told me she, she was going to try to get her off the show. She mm -hmm. said uh, that she only wanted to be the only ghetto girl on the show. And she was trying to get rid of her off the show. She showed me an email and she read it back to me. One of the things she said, I, not, don't quote me verbatim or whatever, but it was to the effect of Tamar had just got on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. So being on Dancing with the Stars, she missed 52 episodes of The Real. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was 52. And... Um, she was pointing out to the network where if she missed 52 um, tapings and the ratings haven't changed or they getting better, we really don't need her. And then she pointed out that the fact that when Tamar got hurt on Dancing with the Stars, mm -hmm. she was pointing out, I don't know if she, she was emailing the network, pointing out the fact that she would be an insurance liability because she was hurt. So she wasn't good a good fit for the show anymore. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So she, I know she specifically can't get her fired, but you can influence stuff by pointing out things. You see what I'm saying? And because she was pointing those things out that may have influenced them to get rid of Tamar, because she told me she wanted to be the only ghetto chick on the show. So. Yeah. She told, so Lonnie told you that. Oh yeah, she told me that. I only want to, so, I mean, that's probably why she quit talking to me. She only want to be the only ghetto person on the show. And people can say um, that I'm bitter. No, I'm not bitter. I'm not, I'm telling you, ask me a question, I'm giving you an answer. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, America, and nobody else, because I'm too old to, to, not, to, to not tell the truth. I'm too old to tell a lie. You see what I'm saying? I just told lies before, don't get me wrong. Like I said again, I ain't perfect. But that's not a lie. Mm. Yeah, Lonnie would end up uh, denying those allegations. Oh, yeah. By saying, who writes letters? Who sent this? Let's talk it out. Stop going on every other show. You know you want to. And that's what uh, she was responding to. to well, when she says then. stop writing letters, um, who writes letters? That was in a response to uh, a text message that was sent to Tamar. Um, a comedian friend of mine, we were happened to be talking about it. Um, I said, you know, we brought it up and I said, yeah, she, she had something to do with it. She wanted her off that show. They're emails now, they're not letters. At the end of the day, it's a bunch of letters that's being emailed. <laughs> yeah. That's how that kind of came up. Yeah, that's how wow. the letters, who writes letters? I heard that, but you notice in Tamar's, um, uh, text message, it said, who told you? And it said, Cookie Hull. 
It specifically said that. The Shade Room picked it up and everything. It said Cookie Hull told me. Mm. She used to be a writer for Lonnie Love. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Why do you think people are like focused on that predicament, that drama that went around that? Because, um, I mean, it wasn't the truth. She did get her, well, she did try to get her removed from the show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She get her kicked off the show. That's why it's around, you know what I'm saying? And the other girls are deers in the headlight because they don't know what's going on. That's why they sit there and listen to whatever explanation that Lonnie is giving. Yeah. You got too much of an explanation for somebody who don't know nothing. When you don't know nothing, you don't talk about it. Yeah. You say, I don't know. You ask me, do I know Wanda what I say? I don't know her. Because I don't. She may, I know of her. She may know of me. I don't know her. So it's hard for me to sit here and say what anybody is thinking. Yeah. Why do you think it's so important for people to know that truth? Because it's not fair. It's not fair that you pretend to be something, to be truthful and you're not. That's not right. You don't, and, and Tamar invited us into her dressing room for the baby's birthday party. You don't shit on genuine people. That's not right. And then for you to get on the internet and then put out this long video about how you didn't do it and you crying. You know, some people tell you things and you don't listen and then all of a sudden you hear them. Like, you're familiar with the little 48 laws of power. For sure. Never outshine the master, all the bullshit. Mm -hmm. How can I not outshine you? I shine. God made me shine. So if these are the laws and, and, and things that you're going by, if you think I play checkers, no, I play chess too. Checkmate. 